go see this movie it is so fitting for what's going on in the world right now just like the matrix is not a fictional movie this is not a fictional movie it is just people can't grasp it because they haven't had a so-called form of awakening Anyway, thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB, and we are going to talk about the Mandela Effect. And I'd like to make a series about the Mandela Effect because I experience it on a regular basis, and so do you, and some of you just don't know it. So I'd like to share my experiences and then also show you how you can, or maybe just tell you how you can experience it too, because you're experiencing it, you're just not aware of it. When you make yourself aware of it, then you can see the magic, for the lack of a better word, that takes place in your everyday life. And it is beautiful. It is so beautiful. And I get so excited because it just makes you see and know and feel that there's so much more to this world than just the mundane portion of the world that you were living in prior to your awakening it just makes life so much more exciting so let's talk about this right so the Mandela effect I forgot the young lady's name um, who coined it but it's been taking place people trip me out when they think that they've discovered something <laughs> and no one else has discovered it they brought it to the light, but it's always been there and there's nothing new under the sun. Remember that there is nothing new under the sun. So she brought it to her generation's attention because prior to there was someone else who knew about it, but maybe they just get, didn't get that much notoriety, but she did. And she brought it to her generation's attention and and we got it we got whiff of it so the reason why it was called the Mandela effect is because Mandela died in he died twice in two dimensions one in 2013 some people have those memories of him dying in 2013 and then some people have the memories of him dying in 2000 I mean, in 19, 1990, something like that, but in prison. I have those memories. I have him dying, the memories of him dying inside of prison. And that lies the term coined Mandela effect. But there's been, this has been happening for thousands and thousands of years. The Mandela effect is our consciousness. Some people think that it's a glitch in the system, but that is not the case. It is our consciousness. As your consciousness expands, and when you have an awakening, this is a form of an awakening, you see through the veil because the veil is now thinning. And those that are able to see can see now. You see the truth, the realization of what's going on in the world. It's amazing amazing 
So some examples of the Mandela effect are the car symbols. If you there's a little video that I did, I'll put it in the description box. But you guys do your do your research, do your due diligence, and you'll see all the examples of the Mandela effect. So there's the car symbols, there's the Berenstein Bears, there is the latest one is the Victoria's Secrets. Uh, it was Victoria Secrets. That's what I remember. But now it's Victoria's apostrophe S Secrets in this dimension. So, and when you call these companies, they will say that they've never changed their name. It's always been that way. Stores are popping up everywhere. There's construction everywhere. If you take a look at your world, and the reason why people cannot see it is because they're busy doing exactly what the elite wants them to do. Continue to be slaves. When you are a slave inside of the matrix, you can't see it. But when you take yourself out of the matrix, you can see it more. And those that are starting to awaken can see it a lot more. We are travelers. We can travel its timelines and dimensions that we are going through. And we can go through these timelines and dimensions at will if we practice. But if you don't practice and if you are conscious of it and you continue to make yourself conscious of it, you're going to go through these dimensions because we're going through dimensions and timelines by the nanoseconds. But and this is why you can't see because we're going through them so fast. But if you make a conscious effort to see, you can see change, drastic change. If you make a conscious effort to see the change in your timeline or your dimension. Um, what else did I want to say? I guess, I guess that was it. That was it. So a lot of people started feeling like every time there's an awakening, like there's a wave of individuals that come in each time. And every time there is a huge event on the planet, where they're saying like the world is ending or where they're saying that the computer was going to crash. Remember in 2000, the computer, it was supposed to crash and in 2012, the world was supposed to end, something like that. Every time you have a big wave or an influx of something like that, it's just people coming online. Their consciousness is waking up and it's so weird because it's timed. It's time. It's, it's really crazy. And it's beautiful at the same time. And a little confusing. But once you start experiencing it and getting the gist of it and going inside and understanding it more for yourself, it becomes less and less and less confusing. Because when I first made that video, it was extremely confusing to me. But when I was in Mexico, I was in the thick of it. I was going through and in and out of dimensions like crazy to the point where it was it was scary because I didn't I didn't know what was happening. And I was quite terrified. And I'm going to share some of that stuff on here with you guys um, in other videos. But um, I'll give you a prime example. I went to my sister's house and I saw her living room a certain way. And this is after Mexico, after I had went through all of that confusion and craziness and going in and out of timelines drastically. <laughs> I came back and I went into her living room and I saw the living room one way. The next day I came over, she had switched it. And I, I was talking to her, I was like, oh my God. Did you change your living room? Did you change your living room? And I kept asking her, like, listen, this is serious. Did you change your living room? I just need to know. You know, I'm experiencing something and I'm, I'm confused. And she's like, no, I didn't change my living room. And she saw me getting very frustrated and about to cry. I mean, I actually did cry. <laughs> And she saw the tears forming and she was like, I'm just joking. I was just messing with you. Um, I did change my living room because I was telling her, I was like, you know, I've been going through these in and out of these dimensions. And it was just 
crazy. It was just very, very, very crazy that I experienced that and she was messing with me. And I, I was so frustrated and so angry at that point. But, you know, we, we always kid with each other. But, but something like that, I didn't feel like joking because I had just got out of several crazy ass dimensions in Mexico and it just messed me up but anyway um, so that's like all I wanted to say <clears throat> that thing is choking me but that's all I wanted to say and um, I, I, I can't and enjoy <coughs> I'm choking and enjoy some of my embarrassing videos to come, okay? Alright.